Hey folks, this is JR with DIY Prepper. Welcome to the channel. During my time on YouTube, I've had the opportunity to test several different solar generators. Most of them have been portable units designed to keep smaller devices running, and many are capable of running larger appliances as well, at least for short durations of time. Then there's a few on the market that can serve as a backup power source for your entire home. But what I hadn't seen yet was a device that can serve as a standby generator for your home while still being portable enough to take with you if you needed to bug out or if you wanted an off-grid power source for something like camping or hunting. But a month or so ago, EcoFlow sent me their new Delta Pro 3, which is the only solar generator that I've tested that can do all of that. Before we get into everything though, I would like to thank EcoFlow for sponsoring us today. The Delta Pro 3 can operate as a standalone system, but can also be expanded. By itself, it has a capacity of 4,096 watt hours and can support up to two extra batteries, which also have a capacity of 4,096 watt hours each. So if you have the main unit and two extra batteries, that'll give you an overall capacity of 12 kilowatt hours. All the batteries have LFP or lithium iron phosphate chemistry that can last up to 4,000 charge cycles before they drop to 80% of their original capacity. This means that you can use the Delta Pro 3 daily for almost 11 years before its batteries degrade to that point. Older power stations with regular lithium ion batteries may only get 500 charge cycles before they reach that point. To connect the main unit to an extra battery, just plug one end of the included cable into the battery port on the main unit and the other end to the battery. When you do this, the cable will lock in place, which reduces the chance that it could get pulled out while in use. The Delta Pro 3 can provide output of up to 4,000 running watts and can supply power at both 120 and 240 volts. It also has EcoFlow's X-Boost feature, which will allow it to power some devices that would normally require up to 6,000 watts. This means that it can energize almost any appliance or device in your house and it's also enough to handle multiple appliances at once. So you should have no problem running things like your refrigerator, freezer, and any lights that you need all at one time. The X-Fusion feature allows it to exceed standard wall output power limits so that you can power high wattage appliances when you need to. Then, if you combine three Delta Pro 3s together, you can get continuous output up to 12,000 watts. As far as ports go, it has two 100-watt USB-C ports for charging small devices and powering electronics, along with two USB-A ports for other devices. The Delta Pro 3 also has four 120-volt AC outlets, so it really is a plug-and-play device. All you need to do is press the power button to turn it on and it's ready to use. And having something that you can just keep inside and use whenever you need it is always nice. An example of this would be this past May and the first part of this month. We had a lot of severe weather and going outside to set up a gas generator would have been very dangerous, especially with all the stupid tree limbs that were falling. Then the Delta Pro 3 also features EcoFlow's new X Quiet feature where it only produces 30 decibels of sound when it's below a 2000 watt load. To put that into perspective, 30 decibels is about the same level of sound I have when I'm sitting in my office with the faint sound of air coming through the air vents, so it's not much at all. And having something that doesn't sound like a jet about to take off is beneficial if, say, you have your CPAC plugged into this while you're trying to sleep, or if you're just trying to get some work done during a power outage. Then the Delta Pro 3 also comes with a 30 amp 120 volt RV outlet and an L14-30 outlet. Either of those can work for connecting it to a transfer switch or inlet box just depending on what you have, but it can also be connected to your home using EcoFlow's Smart Home Panel 2. The large plug on the back can supply power to your home and is also used to recharge the Delta Pro 3 when the power comes back on. For larger single devices, you can use the 240 volt plug on the front of the device, and it also has a 5 amp DC 5521 port and a 30 amp Anderson port as well. Now, if you think you may want to pick up a Delta Pro 3, then be sure to use the links in the description below. You can also use my link and code to get a free EcoFlow monitor, and then they're also doing other promotions with this, including a free 400 watt solar panel when you purchase a Delta Pro 3, and then also $300 discounts when you buy certain bundles. Now, when charging the Delta Pro 3, you have several options. 
You can charge it straight from a regular wall outlet in your home or a traditional generator using the Xtreme charging port, which will give you up to 1800 watts. It can also support 240 volt charging with the correct cable and it'll get the device to an 80% charge in 50 minutes. Like I mentioned a second ago, the large power input output port can be used to charge the Delta Pro 3 from the smart home panel too and can provide up to 4000 watts. Now, if you're wanting to run your house off the Delta Pro 3, the Smart Home Panel 2 is a great way to do that. I've been using the Smart Home Panel 2 with the Delta Pro Ultra for several months now without any real issues. The Smart Home Panel 2 acts as a sub-panel that can handle up to 12 individual circuits, which is a lot better than the 6 that you find on a lot of standard transfer switches. During normal times, power will come through the grid, into the Smart Home Panel 2, and into the rest of your house. But if you lose power, then it'll automatically switch over to the Delta Pro 3. This is a lot more convenient than having to hook something up whenever you lose power, and it could also prevent like food spoilage if you're away from home when the power goes out. There's also a feature called Storm Guard that'll automatically charge up the Delta Pro 3 if severe weather is headed your way. This can be turned on using the EcoFlow app, which I'll cover more later in the video. The Smart Home Panel 2 can also be installed in a lot of different home configurations. For example, the main breaker panel for my house is on the exterior of the home, so the sub-panel is installed right next to it, and the portion that the Delta Pro 3 plugs into is in the garage on the other side of the house. Then the Delta Pro 3 has two different ports for solar input. The first can handle up to 1000 watts, and this is good for hooking the Delta Pro 3 up to portable solar panels. You can also use that same port to charge the power station from your car or an onboard battery charger if you have an RV. The other can handle up to 1600 watts, giving you up to 2600 total watts of solar input. And one good thing about having two separate inputs is that you can use panels of different sizes. Like here, I have a 400 watt panel plugged into one of the inputs and a 200 watt panel plugged into the other. Then the Delta Pro 3 is also compatible with EcoFlow's Smart Generator 4000 and can be charged using it and solar power simultaneously. The Delta Pro 3 by itself weighs just over 113 pounds, so it isn't light. However, it does come with wheels and a telescoping handle, which do make it pretty easy to move. Two people in reasonably good shape should be able to team lift it into the back of something like an SUV or truck without too much trouble. It's also relatively thin, which is useful if you're short on space, like if you live in a small house or apartment. Like other power stations, it's safe to use with sensitive electronics like computers, since it produces stable, pure sine wave output. It can also support a 10 millisecond UPS, which is fast enough to keep most electronics running without interruption if the power goes out. The Delta Pro 3 is also compatible with the EcoFlow app, which you can use to monitor power levels or as a remote control for the power station. If you have a variable energy plan, you can use the app to create a schedule that will allow you to use the Delta Pro 3 during the most expensive times of the day and then recharge it during cheaper or free hours like a free nights plan. You can also do this if you have solar panels so that you can get the most cost savings from those. The app can also help you keep track of how much energy you're using and then any money that you've saved by using the power strategies that I just mentioned. Now, if you need to use a gas generator to charge it, the app can also help control this, and it can even be used to help set up a hybrid gas generator and solar charging strategy if you experienced a prolonged power outage. Then the Delta Pro 3 is also compatible with EcoFlow's device monitor, Power Insight. This is a tablet about the size of an iPad that can perform many of the same functions as the app and help control other smart devices. It comes with hardware that you can use to mount it to a wall, or it can remain portable and just run on battery power. The Delta Pro 3 also has EcoFlow's XGuard battery management system, which provides 44 different protection measures to help make sure that you and your devices stay safe when you're using it because, I mean, it's a lot of power. Then for additional protection, it features a cell to chassis unibody structure, EV grade battery packs, and it comes with a five year warranty. Overall, I'm a really big fan of this unit. I always wanted the original Delta Pro, could never get a hold of it, but this one definitely makes up for that. 
It has significantly more capacity and output wattage than a Delta II Max, and it also rolls, which makes moving it easier. Well, at least until you have to like lift it up into something. It does have a smaller capacity and less output wattage than a Delta Pro Ultra, but it is expandable. Right now, my current Delta Pro Ultra setup with one battery is six kilowatt hours, but my Delta Pro 3 with one extra battery is eight. Then since I'm not trying to run my central air or other really big appliances with it, I never get close to 7200 watts anyway. So for how I would handle a power outage by using propane or butane stoves instead of my electric stovetop and maybe a clothesline instead of my dryer, being limited to 4000 watts isn't what I'd consider detrimental. My main concern is just keeping my food fresh as long as I can and also having lights so I don't injure myself on my son's toys that are laid out everywhere like a little minefield. Then if we had to leave, hoisting the Delta Pro Ultra into the back of my Jeep would be a lot harder than getting the Delta Pro 3 back there. And then if you have a smaller vehicle, its thin size will make that possible as well. Overall, I think that the Delta Pro 3 gives you a perfect middle option between the Delta 2 Max and the Delta Pro Ultra with a lot of significant improvements over the previous model. But if you were to experience a disaster, a backup power source isn't the only thing that you would need. So if you want to see a list of 30 inexpensive items that preppers should be stockpiling, then click here. Or if you want to see a lights out kit that could survive an EMP, then click here. And if you think that you want to check out the new Delta Pro 3 or any of EcoFlow solar generators, then be sure to use the links in the description below. But once again, I'd like to thank EcoFlow for sponsoring us today. Thank y'all for stopping by. Y'all have a good one.